Good morning, folks. We've got a number of stories to cover, but we'll begin today with a test. Helio Viewer is down this morning, and the SDO site is overshowing the satellite jostle and image glitch, which you're seeing here. At the bottom, you should see that these are our own sets taken by 9 Reese directly from the satellite without going through NASA and processed by them for when the existing tools go down. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding a calm day on our star. The only thing that really happened was indeed the satellite shake. Even during that period, however, the Proba 2 swap and GOES X-ray imagers confirmed that the star was utterly quiet during that period as well. No sunspots, no solar flares, no plasma filaments ejecting, and the solar wind is calming as well. Purple speed is the key here, showing our exit from the coronal hole stream and quiet geomagnetic conditions this morning. These coronal holes have their winds set to arrive tomorrow night or Saturday morning. Meanwhile, corona to the left with a void suggesting the next coronal hole position and indeed towards the end of the sequence we see it is incoming on the equator, the dark part. Luckily a less active seismic day after the Honduras rumble, North Atlantic with a little double tap and a force shock swarm developing overnight in the region from Syria to Iran. Eyes open there. Folks, an interesting story is out about Comet 41P Tuttle. It just broke a record. This Jovian comet was seen outbursting last year, and they believe that the jet's force directly opposed the spin of the comet. Over the course of just a few days, the comet slowed its rotation speed from one day to nearly 60 hours, and it continues dropping. This is officially the most changing comet rotation witnessed in the recorded history of astronomy. In 2012, Flight passengers watched the surface evidence of an underwater volcano eruption as they flew overhead. Nearly six years later, the robots are done scanning and have created a 3D visualization of the underwater crater. Chandra has released a very cool animation of the Galactic Center and some of the activity going on there with a little look back over time. And in that same vein, we have the Dark Energy Survey, still not finding dark energy, but finding strings of stars interacting with our galaxy. Each line, they say, is evidence of a direct connection between the Milky Way and a nearby galaxy, forever documenting their encounter. Folks, the cold wave in northern India has gotten worse. It's not like the United States where you just crank the heat. They never even thought they'd need it. 40 dead in just a few days. The end of the year ENSO data has been updated and we're almost one full degree below average temps in the central Pacific. La Nina is here and will persist through the winter with little chance for a break before April. Folks, if you are coming to Observing the Frontier 2018, this is the last week to get our hotel discount at the venue. Just ask for the Observing the Frontier block. See you there. We've got the world on wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.